So I'm going to be at uh, VanCaf, and I am going to be selling some original art. So Ian's a Star Wars fan. I've been working on some little paintings to sell at VanCaf, which uh, hopefully if you're going to be around in Vancouver this weekend, May 21st, 22nd, come check it out. But I'm excited because I ordered a book. So like I said, I work at ILM, but really I'm a fan of ILM and all the stuff they've done in the past, especially with their, uh, before they kind of had CG, they had Model Shop. And there's an old book that came out a while ago that I don't have that I ordered off of eBay. And I've been excited to check it out because I found the copy. Well, a friend of mine found a copy on eBay and told me about it and I ordered it. So I'm going to check it out. And I don't really do this kind of like unboxing thing very often, but I thought it would be fun, potentially. Great. all nice as possible. I remember when I was in uh, college, my roommate had this book, and I thought it was the coolest thing. And uh, this is the old ILM logo. And so this is uh, Industrial Light and Magic Art of Special Effects. So what's cool about this book is it really highlights a lot of the old uh, way they did visual effects. Um, and it has a lot of cool concept art in it, rough Macquarie sketches. Oh, this is cool. Some really awesome. Uh, these are photos of models. Paintings, some cool bits on uh, kind of famous uh, island people. Joe Johnson was a designer. He also uh, directed some movies later on. And I love that it has these awesome pull-out images, spreads. And it's not just Star Wars stuff, which is great. It's just, this is the uh, space station from the old Star Trek movies. DeLorean. It's just a, an awesome book. This is super cool. So some of you might know, uh, I actually got to work on the Book of Boba Fett show. And I got, I do, I'm in the creature department, and I get to uh, rig and do the muscle and skin simulation setup for the new Rancor in the, in the Book of Boba Fett. And the team I worked with ran all the shots with me, and uh, this is so cool to see the original uh, Rancor uh, making of, which is awesome. Anyway, sometimes you can find this book at libraries. My thread. But it's often hard to find. 
and it really makes me super excited to uh, work at Island now and kind of be a tiny part of that legacy of visual effects work on so many cool movies. Super cool stuff. I think I actually had a poster of this, an image similar to this on my, my wall when I was a kid. It's just wild what they were able to accomplish without the computer visual effects that, that we have now and the compositing tools. Um, and there's a real just handcraftedness. Now, there's still a handcraftedness to animation today and visual effects today, but it, it does, uh, it is different. And uh, I really like the idea of making models uh, so this this image here shows this was all the part of this shot that was painted on glass and then you can see other elements that were composited in for the final shot so all this stuff down here where you see people walking around uh, that was all composited in anyway super cool book this is kind of fun at the end. It starts talking about the early computer graphics work that Island did for young Sherlock Holmes, where they made a stained glass window come to life. And it was one of the very first uh, characters ever made in computer graphics, which is really cool. All right, well, if you can find this book, I recommend it. It's super cool. And, uh, the rest of you, thanks for just listening in for a few minutes as I geek out with my new book. All right. And like I said, if you're in Vancouver and you want to come try to find me, um, I'll be at the VanCaf Vancouver Comic Arts Festival, and I'll be selling some of my art, my Space Cat comics, and come say hello. All right. See ya. Bye.